Okay, so the other um, technique I mentioned we are gonna talk about is um, how to find angles. So you can use your tool the same way to figure out angles. You can hold it up vertically or horizontal um, to your object and uh, kind of eyeball these things. You can also turn it to a 45 degree angle, um, which I find really helpful so you can use whichever tech, whichever um, measurement makes more sense to you. So hands of a clock or in terms of degrees. Um, and let's see what that looks like. So you use your pencil to determine the angles of this beautiful angel. This is my dog if you haven't figured that out. Um, okay, so if I were to measure the angle of her back, uh, in terms of hands on a clock, it would be um, just about before 11 o'clock, right? Just over 45 degrees. And I could do the same thing to find all of her angles, right? So the angle of her ears. be about what, like one o'clock and 11 o'clock on her ears, right? That's about a 45 coming off, a little under for her mouth there. Uh, we can find the angle between her eyes. Pretty low, right? Maybe like 25 degrees. Mm, not sure what that one is. Maybe her, the base of her where she's sitting on the ground. It's flat. Yep, so either way, uh, whatever's more helpful for you. Uh, a 45 degree, 90 degree or hands up a clock if that's uh, a better visual for you. Okay, and we have a couple um, of YouTube videos to walk you guys through um, some of these measuring techniques since I'm not there in person to demonstrate it for you, um, but I think they're super useful and um, uh, you guys should have all you need between perspective and sight measuring here to um, measure your drawings accurately.